If you trade Forex, crypto, or stocks, you're going to want to watch this video because in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys the best way to be using support and resistance to make insane profits, guys, just like these guys right here. Let's get into the video. So there's a lot of people out there who think trading forex stocks crypto is pretty much gambling like going to the casino where the house Get always me. wins and there's no chance that you guys can actually make money consistently in the markets and that most traders will fail even if they try their best at learning how to trade guys this could not be further from the truth and i'll show you exactly why so unlike the casino where the house always wins in forex what actually controls the market guys what actually controls the prices is everyone's perception of value Right. So, for example, right now we are looking at the Facebook chart. OK, now the reason why the price is going down is because everyone thinks the price is going down. Right. That's an oversimplification. But in reality, guys, the reason why the Facebook stock is going down is because everyone's wary about the Facebook stock. So they're all selling their positions. And what happens when you sell their positions, the stock price goes down. Right. So that's pretty much what's happening right here on this Facebook chart. Likewise, at other areas, guys. So, for example, over here. Everyone was thinking that the Facebook price hit an all time low and that it should go back up from here. And what happens? The second start, people start to buy, people start getting into that craze. Oh, look, it's, it's starting to go up. It's starting to go up. What's going to happen now is that everyone is going to start placing their buy orders, which then will make the price rise, guys. It's literally that easy, guys. And that is the concept behind support and resistance. Right here, guys, on this chart, we can see that around this area, guys, previously the price went up hit this area of $343 guys before the price coming back down, right? So naturally what will happen in psychology guys is that if you're holding a position down here where you bought and the last time you saw that if the price went up to this certain point before dropping all the way down guys, then you're going to assume that it's probably going to happen again and that you should sell your positions and play it safe. That way you will not lose money because in reality guys, no one wants to lose money in the market. So they're going to want to make sure to try to get out at the perfect time, even though it can go higher. So the reason why the price over here fell for Apple is because everyone started selling because they got scared that the price will fall just like it happened over here. That's pretty much how support and resistance works, guys. For example, right here again, we have a low right there, guys. The next time that the price hit this low, which is around right here, the price started to rise again. And the reason why it started to rise again is because everyone thought that the price will go up. So everyone started placing their buy orders and that made the price of Facebook go up again, just like it did over here before coming back down. It did the same thing up here and again, just like we talked about earlier, the reason why the price fell was because the last time the price was at this high, the price tanked downwards, guys. So basically, it's just history repeating itself because people like to follow the history. That's pretty much how support and resistance works. If you guys aren't familiar with it, all it is, guys, is that the market does what the majority of the collective says, right? So if everyone says that the price is going to go down, then the market will go down. If everyone says that the price is going to go up, then the price is going to go up, guys. All it is is perception of value. So that's the first thing you guys need to understand when it comes to support and resistance. All right, guys, so now you know what support and resistance is. Now you're asking, okay, how do I use it? How do I use it in the market? How do I make money using support and resistance? There were multiple ways you can do that. One of my favorite ways is to combine indicators with support and resistance to help you decide on what trades you want to take. Doing this will increase your win rate and make you a much better trader, guys. Let me show you exactly what I mean. So these are three indicators that I like to use personally. We have Elite Algo, we have the MACD, and we have the RSI, guys. Starting with Elite Algo, it's very, very simple. Right now, we can see that Elite Algo is giving you a red cloud right here on top of the candles. This means that it's currently in a downwards trend. So we only want to be taking sell signals, guys, and we want to ignore every single buy signal. So we can see right here that on this sell signal right there, we can see that the last time the price went up this high, the price eventually fell down, right? So for example, right here, we have a very strong resistance around this area guys okay a very strong resistance and then the algo giving you a sell signal that is a double confirmation that the price is likely to fall so you would take this trade over here right and you would make pretty good profit off it same thing over here guys we have a smart sell right here again 
at a point of very strong resistance. The price failed to break this area right there. So whatever happened, we got a sell signal on Elite Algo and the price dropped again, guys. That would have been two good trades. Again, same thing over here. We have strong resistance right there. The price went back up into resistance before the algo giving you another sell signal and the price dropped again. That's pretty much how you trade support and resistance with Elite Algo. So let me show you guys another example using the MACD this time instead of Elite Algo. So for example, right here, we can see that the short-term moving average on the MACD crossed over the long-term moving average on MACD. This signifies a short opportunity on the MACD. That's how you trade the MACD. It's technically a signal. So what happens here is you have very strong resistance at this area and the MACD gave you a sell signal right here. So this is where you want to place your trade guys. Again, what ends up happening, the price goes down and you make pretty good profit. Same thing happens over here. We still have very strong resistance around this area. You get another MACD cross right here, right? And the price starts dropping again. Very, very simple to trade it. Last example here, guys, we'll show you with the RSI, same concept around this area. We see that the price was overbought, right? And overbought on a very strong resistance area basically means a very strong likelihood that the price is going to go down again, meaning that you should probably take that trade and you'll make a good profit on it, guys. And that's exactly what happened in this area. It happened again over here, guys, where the price was overbought. It was above the 70 value on the RSI, guys. And what's up happening again, you're at a very strong resistance in a downtrend. Remember, we are still in a downtrend. As we can see, it's making lower lows every single time. Always want to be trading with the trend, guys. And we see that the price again dropped right here. That's exactly how you want to trade with support and resistance, guys. It is not very hard. I guarantee you guys, if you guys follow this strategy and you use support and resistance properly, where you're following the trend, guys, trading with the majority of the traders out there, I guarantee you guys will make insane profits in the market. If you guys like this video, make sure you smash that like button and subscribe, guys, and hit that notification bell icon. It will really help us out with the YouTube algorithm. If you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments down below. Also, guys, in the description down below, I'm going to leave a link to our Discord server where you can come in, learn exactly how to trade, make new friends, share trade ideas, and take the same exact trade that I'm taking and the same exact trades that my team is taking so you guys can copy our trades in the server as well. If you guys want to join, it's completely free, guys. Link in the description. Thanks for watching. Have yourselves a good day.